Welcome to the office. What are we doing in the office? Well, I put a picture on Instagram yesterday. Maybe you saw it. Yeah, a pretty cool lay down jibe at Martin Yow Beach. Um, and I had a lot of likes on that picture and I learned a lot of comments. And some of the comments, quite a few of them, were saying, Ben, how did you get that shot? Do you have a new drone? No, I don't have a new drone. Um, but I have the cheapest drone imitation possible. And if you don't own one of these, I suggest you get one. What is it? Well, it's this, I'll show you. It's this, the old trusty K4 harness mount. It's a old harness with this basically molding on the back, which has this long old pole, which I can't even fit in, it's so long, um, with a action cam mount on the top and a safety leash. Yes, um, maybe I'll put an extra video on so you can see it a bit better. But that is the K4 harness mount. Now this is gold. I've had so much good footage from this um, mount in the past uh, and it's still going strong, but it has just gone to a new level. Why? Well, because of this bad boy. Yes, this is my new camera. It's the Insta 361R. Terrible name, terrible name, but great camera. I've only had one session on it um, where I got that shot. So I can't give you an in-depth review and I don't like to promote it too heavily because I haven't used it enough. But so far, pretty sick, pretty sick. Now, why is this any different to a normal camera? Well, obviously it's 360. Now I've been put off 360 cameras for a while because I didn't like the idea, you know, when you see them on Facebook and you're scrolling around, I like someone to pick that view. Now, a few things have changed. The editing software has changed and makes that even easier now, uh, which I'm going to show you exactly why. So let's just go and have a look at the camera, at the pictures and have a look what I'm talking about. So here you go. This is the harness cam. I'm just going to put it on. And what have you noticed? There's no pole. Where's the pole? Don't ask me. But as long as you position the camera directly above, like straight up above the pole, it magically disappears. Look at that. You can see the shadow of the pole, but you can't see the pole. Now for me, this is just absolutely insane. Like I'm like, oh my God. So you've basically got your little drone. It's following, you know, you around about two, three foot above you, depending on how long your pole is. And there we go. So that for me is pretty insane. Um, we're going to go to the water, obviously. Um, but here's the first problem I've had. It's my first outing, so you'll have to bear with me. What happened is, the pole is quite long I've got, and when I got into the water, as you'll see now, I'll press play, um, I was battling with the mast and the pole. You can't see the pole, but I can't get it past the camera. It's hitting the camera now. Now, what happens is, as you'll see in a sec, there we go. So I've hit the camera and the camera has moved slightly off the center. And now you can see the pole. So this was a mistake from me. Um, so I'm gonna, you have to watch this video and bear in mind if I hadn't have done that, we wouldn't be seeing the pole. So there we go. Um, still super cool. We're gonna play it through just so I get moving. You'll see it did take me a while to get off. I'm gonna shorten the pole, that's the idea. Um, so yeah, as you can see, I finally do get going, uh, but you can see the pole, so this is a bit of a problem, but okay, we'll show you. So what you would normally see with a non-360 camera is a fixed view. So it would probably be, you'd probably have it set up, I guess, you know, maybe along those lines. So yeah, you get one view, pretty nice, no problems, get going, and you'd get some really good shots. Now there is a slight problem with this, and this is the first run. So that would probably be your normal view you'd have from this camera. Now, what is so cool about the 360 camera is you can move the shot so I can have a look around. I can do whatever I like. I can zoom in, I can zoom out. Pretty sick, you know. You can see people on the beach up here. And that is the view you would have normally from your camera. So it's a cool view anyway, even with just a normal GoPro. But watch when we come into the jibe. And that was always been the problem. Yes, the intro and the outro of the jibe is good, but the actual lay down you would never get. It's the same with wave riding. So when you wave ride and you bottom turn, you would never get the wave. And it, it was always like, I was like, ah. So then I tried 
setting it up just for the wave ride, but then you miss everything else. So it never made sense. And this is the, such a cool thing with this 360 camera. So now, as we come into the jibe, like that, we see the boys. Now, you can move the camera. So now that is where we'd want the shot. I can actually just move it out. Where do I want to look? I want to look back at the beach, but close that. I can zoom it out a bit. Is that the shot we want? We can pull that down. I mean, when you look at this, it's pretty sick what you can do. So you can just play around, you know. Maybe you want a couple of frames more. Yeah, get a bit more action in there. And probably, I would say that's not far off the shot I put online. Obviously, um, that stick wouldn't be there on a normal day. It was my first day, and again, I need to shorten the pole a little bit, but that stick wouldn't be there. So I did actually go on Photoshop and content to wear. If you don't know how that is, that is an absolutely sick tool. I might even put a little screen overlay now of me doing it, but it's so simple to do. But on a normal day, you wouldn't even have to do that. So there, you've got the shot. You click over to here on the, on their app, take a snapshot, take a snapshot, save. That is your shot. And you know, you don't need a drone. You just need a stick. Uh, I mean, you need a, a K4 harness mount with the pole and then you've got the shot and it opens up. For me, it opens up wave riding because also what you've got to notice is um, when we go onto free capture now, um, I'm just gonna go back. It, this is really me doing rough look at this. This is your normal kind of GoPro shot. We press, uh, you know, film. And as I watched before, as you come into the jibe, you have this shot, which is your normal GoPro shot. And then you would, uh, sorry, I'm a bit premature now. This is your normal GoPro shot. You jibe, it misses, comes out, okay? So now what we can do is uh, with this editing software, again, I'm really new to this, so I'm not saying this is the best way to do it, but what we do is we choose the keyframes. So I'm gonna show you now, as we're coming into the beach, um, you'd, you'd probably keep this shot, you don't need to change it. And as soon as you need to change it, maybe you want to look at the guys on the, on the beach. Who was that? You know, you can basically keyframe that and then move your shot over. Have a look over here, we press play. So I have a different view, we keyframe that, we move back a bit. I mean, this is just terrible, we can move it, a, you know, and you'll see in a minute what I'm on about. There's the boys. So we want to get that shot in. Keyframe that, press play. Well, yeah, I'm doing a very quick one here. This is me not really doing it, but we'll see how it looks and see what I mean. Keyframe that, press play. You know, I'm just moving this around. There's not, again, nothing special I'm doing here. Just moving it around so we can see the whole jibe. We start to come in. And we can. There we go. Have to go a bit quiet now because my brain's working, <laughs> you know. And that's basically, as I would say, it. So then, what we do is, if we go back to the front of that keyframe, you'll watch now. Instead of playing it from one angle, it chooses those keyframes you want, and you see the whole jibe. Again, this was super quick and not my best work, but you get a real idea of what is possible with this 360 camera. So whether you want the video or just the screenshot, and I think for coaching, it's gonna open up so much because you can literally put it on your back or put it on the, the mast or something, and you can choose where you're looking. So say your hand's out a shot or your foot and you don't know what's going on, you can just move it and have a look exactly what is going on. So there you go. Like I said, a real quick review 360 camera um, harness 
uh, capable of harness mount. It's the easiest one. There are other ones out there. For me, that's plastic. It's light. Uh, you just get, and for me, you just get an old harness uh, or one you're not using, and you just fix it on, and you have that just fixed. You can take it on and off, but it's a bit of a faff, and I wouldn't do that. I would just get a cheap harness or something that supports the the back cam, stick it on, and leave that as your camera. I mean, in windsurfing, we need to film ourselves because not everyone wants to stand out there in the in the in the wind and stuff and get shot. So this is for sure the best way to get some sick shots. I will stick uh, a link to the camera below. Uh, there is an affiliate link. So if you do buy this camera, if you buy it from that link, I get about 20 quid or something like that. You don't have to, but it's a nice little uh, and you don't pay any more money. Um, I know Nico Preen's doing the same thing and he's had that Insta360, I actually saw it on his channel and it kind of made me think, ah, this is a new company taking on GoPro. And like I said, one use so far, it seems pretty sick. So there we go. I hope you like that tutorial. I'm not saying I'm the best at tutorials or something, but I hope it gives you an idea of what's possible and what's going on with the 360 cameras. Because like I said, I've been put off them for ages, but now with the new editing software and the way you can just pick your shot, um, you know, in mountain biking as well, I'm sure, you know, a lot of different sports, this camera is gonna be awesome. And the way it gets rid of the stick, I mean, that's just crazy. I still can't get my head around that. Uh, so there we go. Stay tuned to the channel. If you like that type of video or you want to do some more stuff like that, uh, let me know in the comments below. Click on the other videos up there. I think they've just started uh, knocking down the wall next door. <laughs> if you could hear that. Uh, give us a like if you like the video and subscribe.